Welcome to week 16 of Place Your Bets presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. We got 12 games on the NFL slate today plus one on Monday and we're here to prep you for all the action. I'm Maria Marino. Happy to be joined by John Hine and John Jastrzemski and let's get right into best bets. Last week favorites weren't overly kind to the guys. J.J. missed on the Jaguars who were beat up by the Texans and the Broncos who fell to the Bengals. John hit on the Bills who took care of the Panthers but lost as the Lions upset the Cardinals. And J.J. last week wasn't a complete wash. We'll get to that later. But for now, give us your first best bet of the week. Okay, Maria, we learned a valuable lesson last week. We're done with the Jacksonville Jaguars for the 2021 season. Give me the Detroit Lions as my first best bet to cover against the Atlanta Falcons down in the dome. I get it. A week after the Lions hurt your Cardinals pick, you better get on board. But, JJ, what's your next best bet? Maria, after what happened last week to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I love them in this spot against the Carolina Panthers. If I'm wrong, no harm, no foul, because then I'm happy about the Steelers. But if I'm putting my money down, Cincinnati Bengals laying seven, they're going to crush the Ravens. I see what you did there, and that game going to have major playoff implications in the AFC North. Seems like the perfect opportunity for the Bengals, but let's give some props now. And as always, DraftKings has a whole lot of fun prop bets to choose from. John, why don't you give us one that you really like? Well, the one I really like, actually, is the L.A. Rams quarterback, Matthew Stafford. I have him throwing over two and a half touchdowns. Monster, monster day for Brown. Take him with the props any which way you can. I can see it. Hey, we got much more to get to here on the show, including local action. Can the Giants give the Eagles a fight as they battle for a playoff spot? We'll also jump all around the league in the spread offense and later find out locks of the week from the guys. Don't move. We're back with local action, and the Eagles are in town seeking their third straight win. They're favored against the Giants. Philly is 6-5 and five against the spread this season. The G-Men 5-5. Five and five. This will be the first look at the Giants since offensive coordinator Jason Garrett was let go. So, John Hine, that's really the big question. Will Daniel Jones and company be better with Freddie Kitchens calling the plays, and can they keep this a tight game? You know, Maria, you'd like to think so. I don't know why Jason Garrett, frankly, was here in the first place. The offense has been abysmal with him. The way him. the NFL season is going, contrarian is usually the way to go. Well, the Giants couldn't get a win for Eli Manning when his jersey was retired back in September. Maybe they can get one for Michael Strahan today. But to the Jets, who are underdogs on the road in Houston for a 1 p.m. kickoff, the Jets are 2-8 and eight against the spread this season, while the Texans are 5-5, five and five, and they're fresh off their first win in nine tries. So Zach Wilson is back under center after a four-game absence, just in time for a Houston team that's figuring it out on defense. So, J.J., what what do you make of this? Yeah, I like the Texans because Tyrod Taylor is playing solid football. I like him a lot against gangrene. John, I do have to give you credit because a week ago you liked Houston. I remember that. So credit where it's due. And by the way, Houston is three and one against the spread this season with Tyrod Taylor starting at quarterback to your point. And some injury notes as we head to break. Saquon Barkley is active against Philly, but both Sterling Shepard and Kadarius Toney are inactive and a surprise for the Jets. Corey Davis out with a groin injury. More Place Your Bets up next. Let's run the spread offense. First up, the Packers are favored on the road in Baltimore, and it seems like this would be a tough one for the Ravens, even if Lamar Jackson were healthy, John Hine. Yeah, and he's not. He's not going to play. No Lamar Jackson is bad news for the Baltimore Ravens. And apparently more bad news, Ravens quarterback Jimmy Smith now with COVID and not playing. Yikes. Next, it's Tampa Bay, favored by double digits, hosting the Saints in Sunday night football. JJ, what better way for the Bucks to get back at the Saints for beating them in week eight than to clinch the NFC South with a win later? It would be great revenge, Maria, but remember, Tom Brady, since going to Tampa Bay, has struggled with the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans keeps it close. Very interesting. Well, to Chicago we go. The Vikings are there. They're laying the points. Uh, can the Bears play spoiler to Minnesota's playoff hopes the same way they did a year ago, John? No, Maria, they can't. They're 0-4 as a home dog this year. And say goodbye to the Chicago Bears. All right, goodbye, Bears.
I took that literally. <laughs> Over to Philly, the home team, a favorite against Washington. Both teams fighting for playoff hopes, but the game moved to Tuesday with Washington decimated by COVID-19. JJ, what do you make of this? Guys coming back, division game, that's too juicy for me to pass up. I like Washington. Fair enough, and look, we're not done yet. Locks are coming up next, and the guys will look to run the table for the third straight week. You don't want to miss that. Stay right here. The first time all year, we're throwing a three-star lock at you. Hold on, JJ has $300 left, and he's going with a three-star lock? Connor, what do you think about this? This is like when you're on your way out of Vegas and you're in trouble before you go home. You just throw all the money on a table real quick. Ah, oh, one week ago, John Hine was out. JJ tried to Hail Mary, blew his budget in the process as Minnesota lost to Dallas by four. The Cowboys didn't even have Dak Prescott. So with only about $77 left, that's not enough for a one-star bet worth 100. So uh, JJ, I see you have a wardrobe change. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Well, listen, we're trying to pull out all the stops. So I'm pulling out my lucky golf attire. I got a little lady luck, a little shamrock on my side. I get it going some way, somehow. And if it means dressing ridiculously, <laughs> so be it. JJ, we graciously accept your self-imposed punishment. We are granting you some extra money to play with. So, John Hine, floor is yours. What is your lock? Well, one, I'm not laughing at all at JJ because I've been there. The Buffalo Bills big over the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are a horrible team. Two stars, bank on it. Let's go with my Super Bowl pick. I'll say good luck, especially to JJ. For John Hine and John Jastrzemski, I'm Maria Marino. Next Sunday, I will not be here, but the show will go on at 11 a.m. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Sunday.